Hey everybody, welcome to Let's Play Final Fantasy, not 3. <laughs> yeah, it's actually Final Fantasy 6, but we can skip that. Um, they show it to you at the start anyway when you go a new game. As you can see, this is my second time attempting to record this because the recording screwed up the first time, so let's get started. Long ago, the War of the Magi reduced the world to a scorched wasteland, and magic simply ceased to exist. <laughs> a Final Fantasy game without magic? That's going to be a bit different, isn't it? A thousand years have passed. Iron gunpowder and steam engines have been rediscovered. And high technology reigns. Hmm. It looks like that town in, um... Princess Mononoke with the guns and stuff. But there are some who would enslave the world by reviving the dread destructive force known as magic. Why am I reading it like Darth Vader? That's like how Darth Vader talks. He puts like accent, the accent on like um, really weird syllables in the words. Can it be that those in power are on the verge of repeating a senseless and deadly mistake? Well, senseless deadly mistakes do make like good premises for um video games, so I think that might be it. On top of this, well, we're here at some like frozen wasteland on some peak. Oh, robots. Well, cyborgs, I suppose. I don't know. They're just. No. There is the town, says Vix. A wedge. Hard to believe an esper has been found. What's an esper? 1,000 years after the War of the Magi. Vix and wedge. Shouldn't it be Biggs and wedge? Which are like in Star Wars. I think it's still a. or think it's still alive? Probably, judging from the urgency of her orders. Yeah, they wouldn't send you out to pick up a dead esper. I mean, what would you do? I suppose you could stuff it and hang it on the wall like Gaston. This woman, this sorcerer, why is she here? Shouldn't be sorceress. I heard she fried 50 of her Magitech armored soldiers in under three minutes. Also, that stuff's armor, so it's like you're sitting in like a car kind of a thing. Not to worry, the slave crown on her head robs her of all conscious thought. She'll follow orders. Slave crown, so they're after enslaving this woman and making her come with them um, to this like frozen wasteland. We'll approach from the east. Approach where? I suppose wherever this Esper thing is that they're co going after. Well, here we get like we're gonna get like a nice long credit sequence so I can talk a bit about this. Um, I don't know whether you were expecting this or not, but. This game, um, the last time I actually finished this game was about 10 years ago. That was the last time I could, well, no. And it's because, well, I had it on an emulator back then. It was the first time I played it. Um, and you see, this game was ne wasn't released officially in Europe until just March of this year when they released it here on the, oh, music. The music in this game, I would argue, is the best of any Final Fantasy game. Not that I've heard the music in all of them, but... It's it's amazing, let me tell you that. Um, so I got it on the virtual console, and I just fell in love with this game all over again. I had forgotten how amazing this game is. This game is just... It is definitely... It's in my top five of the best games that I've ever played. It's definitely up there. Um, and it was because that I... It was because I fell in love with it all over again that I wanted to share it with you guys. And I, I don't know whether you guys... Um, have ever played this game before? I'm sure you've probably heard of it, but in my opinion, it is the best Final Fantasy game. Just, just whole package-wise, it's my favorite one. I think definitely. I think four would be better. Well, I'm sure the Japanese version of four is a lot better than what was released here and in America, just because they took so much stuff out of it and made it so much easier. So maybe I'm biased in that respect, but. You guys, I would definitely recommend to play this game at least once in your life. It's just one of those games you shouldn't go without playing. It's an absolutely fantastic game. Um, and even even by Final Fantasy standards, it's a lot better than some of the other ones, in my opinion. Which means it must be good. Oh, so this town, steam-driven, this rusted old steam-driven pile of junk town was our destination. Let's put her on point, no sense taking any risks. Forward! Oh. Oh, well, we can move now, so I guess we're com 
controlling this mystery woman, so... I don't know where they want us to go. Oh, dog! Machine writing self-important spy! <laughs> Take this! <laughs> I love, like, the, the, the dialogue in this game is just fantastic. It's hilarious. Lobo! A preemptive attack. Well, bring back Sheriff Lobo! No, let's fire beam Sheriff Lobo. When you're in this, when you're these Magitek armor guys, one hit is going to kill everything, all of these enemies, so just use fire beam, it's the easiest thing, just mash the A button. Oh, he ran off to get his friends, I guess. More mummies, Imperial Magitek armor, not even Narsh is safe anymore. Oh, more of these guys, oh well, we haven't fought these guys yet. I don't know, I, I told you guys, this is like my um second time recording this, just because the recording screwed up the first time I recorded it. Um, but yeah, <laughs> so I guess I'll be a bit more prepared this time, if anything else. Um, I'm not going to cut out any of these battles, they're, they're pretty much, they're kind of storyline battles. I mean, I, I, I am going to, oh, Biggs and Wedge gained the level. Um, I am going to cut out random battles later on, but in my opinion, the encounter rate in this game isn't that, isn't that bad in fairness, and the battles go by so quickly that... Well, you'll see later. This isn't the time to be... Oh, more Lobos. Bring back Sheriff Lobo! Let's see what she... Oh, she... I forgot to tell you. She can do, like, more damage than other guys, so... Um... She has more attacks, um... At her disposal than Biggs and Wedge does do this mystery woman. Question mark, question mark. Question mark five or whatever. So, um... But that, that'll become more important later. Oh, so the mummies want to try it on with us? You want to dance, mummies? want to dance with the devil in the pale mool night? Yeah, let's just fire beam their asses again. <laughs> Might as well. It's just easier just to hit the A button over and over again. I don't see why not. Okay, I'm thinking of recording two, maybe three episodes of this. I don't want to record too much, Joe, because um, I want to get your reactions to it. So, Oh, they gain more levels, eh? When when's um the mystery woman going to gain a level? We've got him trapped now. Okay, um this is a thing this is a thing called a present. This is the thing called a pincer attack. It's basically like getting it's almost like a mixture between getting back attack and like having a regular and a regular encounter at the same time is probably like the best way I can explain it, which wasn't very good, but still. Um yeah, basically, like, it's almost like one or two of your characters are back attacked from one side and the other one's back attacked from another side. It's kind of weird. You, it, you guys know what it means, okay? It's pretty self explanatory Oh, Mystery Woman did gain levels. Sorry I'm skipping past all this. It's just, like, it's just, um, reflexes or whatever. Are there any more of those guys? Maybe we scared them off. Well, how are we going to get our big robotic body up those tiny-ass wooden stairs? Oh, I guess we can we must defend the mines! Mines? Oh, so, oh, look, those goblin-y guys. Well, they're not, they're vo mammoths That reminds me, actually. <laughs> I'm surprised I didn't talk about this the first time I recorded it. But, um... Oh, Bioblast. Yeah, human enemies are weak against the poison element in this game, so you might as well use Bioblast and take out a couple of them. Um... I was reading this, um... <laughs> I was... My friend and I are planning to go to Fota, which is like a wildlife park. Basically, it's just like near here, there are like a load of fields where there are zebras and giraffes and things wandering around in these fields and whatever, and you can go there and look at them and stuff, and it's really fun. It's kind of like an institution or whatever. Um, oh, well, another cutscene. According to our source, the frozen Esper was found in a new mine shaft. Maybe this one. Maybe this one what? What are you guys up to? I don't like the way these guys are talking. Sound like they're up to no good. Um, so anyway, I was on their website to find out what their opening times were or whatever. Oh, more new enemies. Yeah, once more, these guys. I don't use, um... Don't use Bioblast on these guys because it, um... I think those were-rats absorb the poison element, so... Um, what was I gonna say? Oh yeah, so I was on, like, I was on Photo Island's website, and I found this article there that was saying, like, Oh, um... Photo Island is um, e entering like a new project in partnership with UCC Science Department or something. That's like, um, oh well. First of all, that's a save point. Any of you guys know who played like other Final Fantasy games or Chrono Trigger or any of those things know that I think Final Fantasy IV was the first one to use that kind of system. But 
you can save there once you're in there and you can use like a tent to restore all your energy or you can use sleeping bags and things like that. Um, but anyway, they were saying like they're going to um, and do this, have this project called Prehistoric Park where they're going to have like revived extinct flora and fauna there so stuff like that and I was like oh my god you guys you can't do that that didn't you see Jurassic Park that's a bad idea or whatever um oh what these things are in my way these like little sticks well I guess we'll just have to turn back oh no Vix is Vix will take care of this apparently it's like um oh well good job Vix you took down a couple of sticks um, so anyway, I was like, that's a really bad idea, you can't do that. Haven't you ever seen, um, Jurassic Park? Oh, well, here's the first boss. The Welk. I like the Welk, I like snails, he's kinda cool. Hold it! Think back to our briefing. What about it? Do you recall hearing about a monster that eats lightning? What, like those, um, those pirates in Stardust? And stores the energy in its shell! Does it? Oh, really, that's a nice trick to be able to do. Right, so whatever you do, don't attack the shell. Good advice, Vix. You don't know how right you are. Basically, you'll have the choice to either attack the snail or the shell. Now, you want to attack the snail. You don't want to um, attack the shell because if you attack the shell, he'll like unleash a counter attack on you. Um, and that counter attack will be like an electric attack that does a lot of damage to your whole party. So what I do is I I attack him three times. And then I just defend, because he's going to like... Yeah, when he goes grew, it means he's going to go back into his shell. I'm just going to cure with um, the whole parachute with um, the mystery woman. Just um, while we're waiting for him to pop out again. Um, oh yeah, so I was reading this article and I was like, No, what the... You can't do this. That's a really bad idea or whatever. And like... So they were talking about um, having this prehistoric park or whatever. But then, like, I was, like, telling my dad about it, and he was like, Harry, did you look at what date that thing was po put up on? And it was put up on, um, on March 31st. So I can't believe that I got, like, April fooled on the 3rd or 4th of April. It was ridiculous. I was so ashamed of myself, because it was just, like, it was probably the most stupid thing that I've ever done in my life. It was so retarded. But I wouldn't have, like, I wouldn't have believed it straight away if it weren't for the fact that I were reading this, um, this article, um, yeah, let's just wait for him to go back into his shell, yeah. Um, I'd been reading this article a couple of days previously. Is he? Oh no, I thought he died there. Um, I'd been reading this article that was like about Japanese scientists who say that like they'll be able to clone a live mammoth within five years um, using frozen mammoth carcasses or whatever. And I was, uh, like, so that had kind of implanted the idea that Jurassic Park could actually happen into my skull. And so then when I read that Fota Island thing, I actually believed it, which was really ridiculous. So let's see if a tech missile can take can finish him off. Yeah, tech missile is probably the thing to use with um, the mystery woman because it does more damage. Oh yeah, look, it finished him off. Um, yeah, so that was my stupid moment for the week. The moment where I was an idiot for the week was then when I was um, acting like a retard, thinking that Jurassic Park could actually happen. Oh well, now that's that obstacle taken care of. Out of our way. Oh, well, we've been recording for 14 minutes. I think this is as good a time as any to finish off the first episode of my new Let's Play. So, please, let me know what you think. Let me know um, what you think of this game, if you've ever played it before. Um, and in the next part, we're going to head on up those stairs and see what's up there. Maybe this Esper thing they keep banging on about will be up there. So, this is Rock Paper Mario saying, see you next time.